Today we'll be looking at elder abuse and maltreatment, understanding the dynamics, with an emphasis on social work and social service providers. At the end of the video, there will be a short quiz. Please participate so you can gauge your understanding of this important topic. When we begin to look at the issue of elder abuse, we can see that over 10% of adults 65 and older will experience some form of abuse. This slide also helps us to better see the statistics of abuse, particularly among the old, old, and older old cohorts, those that are 70 and over. We will now go into the types of abuse that occur caregiver neglect, financial abuse, psychological abuse, sexual abuse, and physical abuse. All of these types of elder abuse are often underreported, as is visible by this slide. We can see locally in Los Angeles County that the impacts of elder abuse are dynamic on the older adult population. By 2030, there will be 2.2 million older adults in Los Angeles County, which equates to one in five individuals in LA County by 2030 and one in four individuals in LA County by 2060. The areas in which there are the most concerns for older adults, elder adults, are the impact of chronic health conditions, social isolation and loneliness, food insecurity, disproportionate rates of homelessness, and impacts of po poverty. All of these areas contribute to the increased and disproportionate abuse and violence that older and elder adults experience. Another area of concern that we should be familiar with is abuse that occurs outside the home. Abuse and neglect in nursing homes has become an increasing problem for older elder adults. Many of the signs of nursing home abuse or neglect are similar to those that might occur by a caregiver within the home. Physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, financial abuse, or nursing home neglect, including not providing medications in a timely manner or withholding medications, not changing bedding, restricting movements, and other types of abuse. Individuals, families, caregivers, and social service providers should be aware of abuse that might occur within nursing homes as well too. Mandated reporters, including social workers, physicians, peace officers, and educators must know that elder abuse, whether it's known or suspected, is something that is required for mandated reporters to report to authorities, including adult protective services. If the individual fails to report the abuse, there could be legal penalties. It's important to review the statutes in your states to determine whether you are and if the incident is mandated reporting and it's important to pay attention to reporting requirements. It's important to inform older elder clients in initial sessions about your mandated reporter status. Always balance the client's safety with their right to confidentiality and collaborate with other agencies to address contributing factors to elder abuse. 
Let's go ahead and take a short quiz to see what your knowledge is in the area of elder abuse and maltreatment and also in terms of mandated reporting. Pause the video, read the 10 questions, and then unpause it so that you can get the answers. The correct answers for the quiz are number one, D, number two, B, number three, D, number four, B, number five, D, number six, A, number seven, A, number eight, C, number nine, B, and number 10, B. I hope this video was helpful for you in better understanding elder abuse, and maltreatment and the dynamics associated with it. Please go ahead and comment below what applications from this video you will utilize for your practice. Thank you.